Yeah. This was the prettiest game in the world. You guys found a way to win. What, what does that mean to come out of here for one? Oh, it's huge. I mean, back to back days, you know, good win yesterday. And, uh, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good win yesterday, good win today. So I think it's a uh, big for us moving forward to have that confidence. Too. Speaking of confidence, Bruce, what is getting a couple, you know, big hits from you today? How does what does that do for you? Oh, it's good. I mean, I've, I've been swinging well yesterday and today, so I feel like uh, see him fall. You know, obviously one getting out, but I thought it was a great day. You know, just to see him, you know, kind of back to how I was, and so I feel like it's a good thing moving forward. For you, I mean, how much of a, I guess, a mental battle, and kind of not having to get some of the success you wanted earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, not really that bad. I mean, it's just kind of coming here every day and focusing on the things I need to do, whether it's warm-ups, you know, coming out to the field and getting my stretching in, just taking one thing at a time. So I'm not really getting too caught up in, you know, results, really. It's just worrying about my processes and things moving forward. So you haven't, like, changed anything as far as, like, your batting approach or anything? Like no, my swing, my swing's been great, and it's, I mean, just approach-wise, it's more, you know, staying up the middle now as opposed to, you know, trying to hit the big blocks to right field. So more just staying at the middle, and if I catch one out front, you know, earlier in the year, you, you were drawing a lot of walks, too. Do you, is that kind of an encouraging sign, just knowing that your eyes kind of still there and just, it's just a matter of time before it? Yeah, definitely. Up? I mean, obviously, I would have liked to limit the strikeouts, but walks were still there, and I was seeing the ball well. It's just uh, hitting the balls hard that weren't falling, just some unlucky things. But uh, just like you said, I mean, it was good to know that I was, I was still seeing the ball pretty well. What is that some time off to um, do for you that kind of helps clear your head a little bit? Yeah, it's great. I mean, getting some time away from the game is always good, you know, when you're kind of going through something. But uh, it was great. You know, my family came and saw me. I uh, spent some time with some of the other guys that weren't traveling and all. So it was good to get that break away. I'm, I'm ready to go moving forward. Zach, you look pretty good on the mound tonight. Uh, <laughs> did you think there was a chance you'd be out there? Uh, I always, when I go in, when I play, I usually like to think I'm going to pitch just so it doesn't surprise me. Um, I kind of knew since we played yesterday that, you know, my name could have been called very well. Ryder threw, obviously, yesterday, so he wasn't going to be hot today. Um, but like I said, I always go into the games expecting the craziest thing to happen. And, um, you know, I honestly didn't think I – I mean, I don't know. I don't want Coach Jesus, but I didn't think I was going to go back out there for the bottom – or top of the ninth. And he's like, you good? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. So, no, it was good. It was awesome. There was, so, almost, there was almost 20 pitchers used in this game. How does that kind of affect the continuity for a guy that was both, you know, on the bump and then also hitting I mean, I don't really think it affects it at all. I don't really know how to – I was going to kind of stump me on that one. I'm not going to like your question. Um, you don't get to see pitchers twice. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Positions. I mean, we just take it as we are. I mean, we got so many tools and gadgets, all scouting reports on them. So, it's like we've already faced the dude two or three times. Um, I mean, it's just awesome, man. Like, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun because you get to compete and challenge yourself. You see as many pitches, as many velocities, as many – change up slider, you see it all, so you really just keep getting that experience. So. The mound can get a little dusty late in games. Did the, a little bit of rain actually help you get your footing there? Uh, yes and no. Um, it actually helped with my fastball because I'd grab some rosin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I grabbed some rosin and it made my hands a little drier and a little bit, like, not sticky, but like better grip on the ball. Um, but no, I, I mean, that uh, spike cleaner thing on the back of my mound was about two inches above the spikes with dirt, so it's pretty full. Cool. But it is what it is, you know. It's a mountain. Is it fun to pitch when you go out there and just kind of throw a lot of fastballs and say, here it is, you know, hit I, it? Kind of yeah, <laughs> I mean, usually, I mean, I don't want to sell myself, but I usually throw a lot of change-ups. And, you know, I thought I was just coming in throwing change-ups. And I just kept seeing fastballs. Fastballs, like, dude, this is awesome. Like, I, I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done this since high school when I pitched. And, uh, yeah, it's just awesome because you're just like, I mean, I'm up there. I'm like, you hit it. I'm throwing it. You hit it. So, Coach, two midweeks, two wins. I know probably there's maybe some things you would have liked to see better, but you can't complain with two wins, right? Um, anytime we can win a game, I'm not going to uh, complain a whole lot. Did we play our best baseball today? No, we didn't. You know, do some things. I thought we swung the bat well. I thought we played good defense. Um, you know, just really happy for Agnos getting us out of a jam and um, then Spivey coming out on fumes. He just ran to the bullpen and said, "Hey, I'm going to get hot." So, um, you know, when you got guys competing like that, that's pretty special. I'm getting some. Uh, I think Jacob Starling just been awesome for you guys lately. What what is it that he's doing well that allows him to you know, have success like this? We haven't been healthy, so he broke his leg in summer baseball. We thought he'd be 100% at the beginning of the season. Kind of pushed him to get ready, and then we had to take a week off. And then once he took that week off, he's come back, and you guys have seen him in the lineup some and coming into play. And uh, that's what we thought we had. Um, it doesn't always work out that way, but uh, proud of him because he's had to persevere through some tough things and 
breaking your leg and then having to go out there and play middle infield is not very easy. And, and Josh Moylan, too, I mean, he's barreled up three balls today. Um, that was, I think, first multi-hit game. I mean, he looked like he's coming around. He, he was excited, too. I mean, what would you see out of him? We totally revamped his swing. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, you know, hitting is – or the game of baseball is extremely mental. And for him, it was – he was frustrated. He needed to take some time off and get his head right, and he did that, and he's put together some good swings. Even last night, he barreled a few balls last night, um, but didn't have anything to show for it. As, as a former player, too, I mean, what, what does some time off do? Does it, I mean, I know people say it helps clear your head, but like, how, how does it, you know? Well, when you're you're not swinging the bat well, and then everybody's talking about, hey, Josh, you're not swinging the bat well. I mean, when I say people are talking to you guys and, you know, all the fans who want to know what's wrong with him, nothing was wrong with him. He just – to slow himself down a little bit and sit over there and just watch the game. And then when you watch the game, it kind of relaxes you a little bit instead of putting all that pressure. And I think he was putting a lot of pressure on himself. Did, did Ryder, did he have any soreness come out yesterday? He did have some soreness, so there was precautionary. I mean, he came to my office and I said, can you go? He says, I'm a little sore. He says, I can go. And I said, well, I know what the smart thing is to do. And he said, it's your call. So when he saw me, it was my call. Then, um, you know, we put Zach in short. Uh, Starling at second base. Coach, five game homestand, VCU this weekend. What, what do we know about them? <laughs> I know nothing about it. <laughs> Not one thing. I know they got a really good coach and they got a great program. Um, you know, for you guys want to talk about something, this team, um, after yesterday, we played more road games than home games. I don't know if that had ever happened this far into the season. Um, definitely not since I've been here, but in any point in time. And it wasn't, you know, by design necessarily. And, scheduling three years out normally two to three years out and this team needed to grow up and you know they kept their head above water so uh, as I said earlier we're going to continue to play better baseball down the stretch because we're getting a lot of guys in the games and a lot of young guys a lot of experience and they'll continue to get better as the season goes. Now the bats are coming alive both from guys who you expect to hit well as much as young guys like Cam Clotch is it a little bit harder now to set a lineup because it seems like everybody's kind of getting hot. Well, I mean, you say that. Last night is a tough place to see at UNCW when the lights come on. And I thought our guys really competed. And the reason we won last night, of course, we pitched well. We played really good defense. But, you know, our guys executed. And that's not a tough place to play. They they really dislike us over there. So um, it was really good to just find a way to get a win last night and then bring that momentum. And today I told our hitters we're going to have to be offensive. And, they uh, did a really good job of being offensive today. The Zach, I mean, if he pitches like that, is that you want to get him in that, that spot more? I like to put people in the game that can throw strikes. So if Zach can throw strikes, like Ryder can throw strikes, then you will see more of them. And uh, it's amazing that when your position player is, you're, you're not afraid. You're not afraid you know how tough it is to hit, and you just go after hitters. And uh, Zach was tremendous today. Like, you're talking about a guy that, that throw bullpen just goes out there. He got pitched. I don't know when the last time he pitched. So he pitched a while. It's the most pitches he's ever thrown in one outing in an ECU uniform. He's been here for two and a half years counting the COVID 